James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is October 25th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL has actually announced a second space rock. The solution date of today, October 25th, 2024, it's inbound for a close approach on the 28th of October, so in three days. Again, this is near-Earth object, NEO 2024 UQ1, as you'll see down here. Now, this space rock is only going to be about 40 feet in diameter. It also, just like the other one announced today, is supposed to pass directly between the Earth and Moon, but on the 28th of October, a little bit smaller rock, and it's only moving at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. Still a very fast moving near Earth object here to fly directly between the moon and Earth. And the inclination is not as abrupt as the space rock that we just saw, 2024 UN2. Again, this one was just released by JPL Today, 2024, UQ1. We're going to try to bring us into the 28th here, if we can. And here we are. You can see they're just about on top of each other, folks, from every direction. Uh, and... We'll kind of give you an idea of the orbit there. Basically an inner solar system rock or near-Earth object, just as most of them are. Now, let's get some additional details on this space rock. Starting off with our orbit parameters here, you can see the solution date, in fact, is today, the 25th. I'll try to get things to y'all as soon as they're available. Looks like they only spotted this rock yesterday on the 24th. One day of observations. They have had 40 observations. Our condition code's a little higher than the other rock we looked at that will pass this morning early. Here we have a condition code of 7, meaning they're fairly uncertain where this rock is headed. 9 being completely or highly uncertain. And zero, meaning they know exactly where the rock is headed. This also tells you they don't know exactly how large the rock is. So there's a lot of questions about this. I'm sure that they will update this. Of course, this was seen by our automatic AI software. And again, the solution date was today. Let's look at the close approach data. All right, looking at the close approach data, they've been able to extrapolate about one page of flybys here, both past and present from the 40 observations. Go to the 28th here. Looks like it's going to fly by at about 6.08 UTC time. So that's going to be right around, again, 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh... The night of the 27th, the morning of the 28th. And I'm talking about central time when I give you these times. This is UTC time, uh, 6.08. So I'm converting that for you. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit or twice as close to Earth or almost twice as close to Earth as the moon. So we're talking within 100,000 miles uh, we consider that a close shave. Again, that's the 28th. There's a lot of uncertainty associated with this space rock with condition code of 7. So a quick recap. We have 2024 UQ1 inbound for, well, the night of the 27th, the morning of the 28th. And that's going to happen about 1 a.m. on the 28th. It's going to be a little bit closer to Earth than the moon. It should fly right between the two. Again, this rock's just over 40 feet in diameter, only moving at 6.6 .6 
kilometers per second, a little bit slower than most of the near-Earth objects we see here. They think it, again, is a little bit over 40 feet in diameter, but we have a very high condition code of 7. So, first off, they don't know exactly where the rock is headed, i.e. the orbital path, and they probably don't know exactly how large the rock is if they don't know exactly where it's headed. With that said, guys, uh, I will keep you updated if JPL gives us any updates with this rock 2024 UQ1. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.